Well, hey, welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. We are in Tankwa. We are all the way in the Karoo. Check out how we join a couple of creatives from South Africa as they drive through the rugged terrain of the Karoo. Hike up the high mountains of Cedarburg. We're in 2.7 kilometers to a 6K hike. And walk towards the magnificent Wolfberg Arch in their brand new African Ranger Jim Green boots. Follow along as we put these boots to the test. How do you like them, Dil? First time fit, bro. First time fit? First time on, fit, walk. Epic. Like them? I love it, bro. I actually really do. Getting really comfy in there. Yeah, I really love them. Put them on, super comfortable. Um, you haven't even noticed them, and I've been wearing them all day. These guys would generally not wear gym green boots or boots in general. They'd wear sneakers. They're going to do some filming, and it's going to be awesome. Take some photos. Um, while wearing their gym green boots for the first time. They're brand new, so it's first time experience for everyone. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna make our way to Wolfberg uh, Arch right now. Um, we're gonna go hike in gym green boots and see how they go. And uh, here's all the signage. Look at this. Yeah, I hope I come across a rattlesnake. What are you gonna do if you come across a rattlesnake? Let it bite the boot so it breaks its seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've just come past this really cool section in the mountains and uh, I'm going to try and take a skateboard and go down this hill. So the question is, can you skateboard or longboard and a pair of Jim Greens? Yes, you can. Watch this. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Longboard down a hill in Jim Greens. You can. Look at this. The Karoo is massive. It covers almost 40% of South Africa's land surface. It's over 400,000 square kilometers in size, making it just a little bit bigger than Germany to put it into perspective. The name Karoo it's believed to be a koi word that means land of thirst. As you can see, it's pretty dry out here. I'm enjoying them. I'm gonna actually run up this mountain right here just for the hang of it. Watch it. He won't go all the way to the top. <laughs> he won't go all the way to the top. There's no way. So here, Jim Green at work right now. How long it takes him? <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, well, clearly, there you have it. Put a pair of gym green boots on and you can run like a mountain goat. <laughs> do you believe that you'll be able to do that? Yes. Let's see. Let me go. This man is gonna try and. There's no way. <laughs> okay, so that's two. Made it to the top of the coffee. How's your How's your gym green boots going so far? They are amazing. Honestly, I'm a hiking boot fan. It's the first time I've ever owned a pair of gym greens, and they have changed the game. Seriously, I'm not just saying that. They are super comfortable, and I'm not worried about getting bitten by rattlesnakes out here, which is a high probability. See these glasses and these gym greens? I'll get there. Watch. Here we go. Mountain goat boy, going for it. If you hear me wheezing, I'm sorry. Oh, sharp rocks, doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh, last one. Woo. 
chest is burning, but feet are feeling good. That's the whole point. That's the whole point, eh? Oh, my chest. I'm still good, I haven't died. I'm still fine. But I'm now making my way down this pretty steep hill, which is pretty cool because you can see the grip that these things have. Sometimes in life, you can't always have it all. Even if you have a good boot, sometimes you KO, bro. <laughs> so here's the thing, we're on our way to, uh, to the Wolfberg Arch and realized that we actually don't have enough time to get there because we need some sunlight. So we are just gonna make the most of where we are right now and we're gonna go to Wolfberg um, Arch tomorrow. Well, good morning. We are just woken up and it is 20 to five in the morning and we are about to go up the mountain behind me. You can't see it because it's so dark, but it looked absolutely beautiful and we cannot wait to get up the mountain. We are about to go up to Wolfberg Crack and then further on to Wolfberg Arch. That's right. Should be a 6K hike. All right, here we are. First a little bit of the leg. We're running up. Hello. <laughs> 5 a.m. Yeah, I've got a backpack on that weighs about 400 kgs and a heart full of passion. Let's go. We're in 2.7 kilometers to a 6k hike. It's been an hour. We are flying, that's for sure. We're almost at the top. Guys, it's so insane in here. Just the wildest thing in the world. Hiking up here and the Jim Green booths have been absolutely phenomenal. Going up a very slippery rocky terrain and I've had such good grip. And uh, I've had mine for about four months now and it's just been so nice. So they're nice and worn in. Some of the other guys have got new ones. And uh, they are getting a little bit of blisters, um, obviously because they're new. But mine have been going for about four months and they're worn in nice and soft. Jim Greens are perfect. I did not pack the right socks for this hike. In all honesty, this is one of the coolest experiences I've had coming on a hike. It's honestly so beautiful in here. We've got two kilometers to go before we get to Wolfbach Arch. So, yeah, enjoy the journey. Check it out. We're not messing around with the distance here. No, not at all. Well, here we are. We've finally made it to uh, Wolfberg Arch. Um, it took us three and a half hours to get up here. We gave it some pace, and now we're actually going to do a podcast. I'm going to take some photos, some drone photos, show you what this place looks like. We're going to have some coffee first, get sitting in our tummies, and then we're going to carry on. But I have to say, the gym greens have been absolutely amazing. I mean, you can look at the terrain here. You definitely need a shoe that's going to be able to um, give you a good sturdy balance all the way to the top and a lot of grip um, because the terrain is very slippery um, but yeah it's been awesome so far yeah, Ashley your first how long have we hiked now four hours three and a half 
yeah i think just under four hours okay how was your how did your shoes hold up i wore the worst socks in the world with very great shoes so i was protected grip was insane we were on a like literally we were vertical for a lot of this climb i didn't slip once huh. the only thing i would suggest is pack thicker better socks so um, there's no friction mm. but other than that honestly i'm a happy camper Libla. yes sir how was your 10 hour hike in your gym greens for the first time oh, oh it was magnificent yeah like we're climbing on top of rocks like really sharp rocks maneuvering easy it was very fun with the experience all right well that was that that's the trip all the way out here at the wolfberg arch and uh, we're about to make our way back down you just want to say like and subscribe do the right thing and uh, if you don't know already every time we sell 10 pairs of these african ranger boots one pair gets donated to a game ranger in need so jump onto the website order yourself a pair and be part of the journey to date we have donated 1200 pairs of gym green boots uh, to game ranger, game rangers in need and I think that's absolutely incredible. So thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for being part of the journey and being part of the story. You guys are awesome. See you on the next one.